All right, folks, welcome back. Today we are going thrifting, always looking for golf clubs or anything else cool that we could use ourselves, sell online, or just have fun trying out and then donate back at the end. And we have been on quite the roll lately. Last time, we, at least. yeah, we found a brand new in the box PXG driving iron. And before that, we found a Scotty Cameron, but never know what you're gonna find. So let's go find it. Let's go find it. Oh my goodness. This is the coolest cart staff bag I have ever seen in my entire life. I love those colors. This is $10. I don't care how much that is. We're definitely going to uh, pick that up. That is one of the coolest bags I've ever, that is probably the coolest bag I've ever seen. Got some Spaldings over here. Looks like some uh, laminates. We got a Wishing three wood, or uh, five wood. What do you got? It's like a retro kid set though. Retro kid set? Like woods. Yeah. Cute. Speaking of retro, I'm yes. still in love with that bag. That thing is super cool. It's only been 10 seconds. Still in love with it. Yep. Got some uh, Dunlop Loco kids clubs. I've never seen the left handed of those. This bag's kind of cool too, the uh, colorway. Oh, check this one out. Almost looks like a uh, Hooters colorway. Yeah, it does. Uh, we're getting bag overloaded right here, but definitely <laughs> going sure. to get that. That is that is so cool. I've never seen that one before. Oh my goodness, almost as cool as that bag. Ocean images. Coming soon. This thing is so heavy. That is awesome. Oh, look at all the buttons. It actually works. Oh yeah. I wonder what camera connects to that. I don't know. I know you could just use a GoPro, but that one kind of zoom is probably better than the GoPro. <laughs> probably. I don't know if you're ready for this. Uh oh. Ashley went crazy. Whoa! Gold. Oh my goodness, it's a goldfish. I thought I saw it. I thought it was a uh, Simba one. Or Woody the Pooh or yeah, something. Yeah, that is. That's pretty amazing. That is. Oh, these are the two. I'm getting a little, a little overwhelmed here of the amazingness of random golf things now. What more can you need though? Just you clubs? Li literally, I don't even need clubs. Let's show up to the course and that. Look, what's up? People know what's up then. <laughs> Got a lifetime supply of hoverboards and check these out. We got a bunch of golf clubs in here. Usually they don't have very many. Got a set of uh, Wilson X31s. Got a Warrior Custom. Got like a Callaway knockoff right here. Oh, I think that's a uh, full set of these. Uh, Nicholas Ladies Clubs. Nicholas Ladies Clubs. You don't see those every day. No. Got a hog putter over. Oh, I didn't even see these. We got a uh, $15 for a TaylorMade Burner 7. Oh, we got a uh, TaylorMade Burner Rescue right there. another one over under. Oh yeah, Taylor made a uh, burner rescue uh, five hybrid. Speaking of Taylor made, look Whoa, you're finding all the good stuff. That is awesome. The old school colorway on the Taylor made uh, travel bag. That is super cool. It's already been marked down. It's fifty nine dollars. This place uh, does it by the date. I'm gonna go. Uh, usually they're really good about negotiating. Man, we'll be like, how much you want for all this uh, Taylor made stuff? Oh, check this out. We got an old school uh, Mizuno Tezoid. Oh, they're super cool. Tezoid irons are super uh, underrated, just as good as like the MP33s or MP30s, uh, but uh, not as coveted. Mm -hmm. Got a hog putter too. Yeah, I think it's super cool. Almost looks like it's milled. Yeah, I'm not sure for this. End. Cool. All right, we'll go talk about uh, the tailor-made things. Yeah, the tailor-made things will be procured hopefully. I didn't even notice this. <laughs> Callaway Steelhead Three, <laughs> missing all the good stuff. <laughs> How's it going? You know the best you can do if we got both of these. Both of them? Yep. Uh, 20 bucks. Sounds good. Do you, know so, you, yeah, do you know if you have any clubs you haven't put out yet? I don't. Okay. I don't have any That's a good deal, man. All right, thank you. Yep. Make sure you talk about it's going to that video. <laughs> Sweet, ended up getting two of them. One of them needing a new grip, and then the travel bag had a, a bad zipper, so we ended up getting both of these for twenty dollars. Oh, check that out, Subaru Baja. That's, awesome. That's amazing. What if the guy's trying to pawn his car? Just buy it. That's that would amazing. Be amazing. <laughs> yeah. Maybe another day. Another day. A little too much Subaru love right now. That's pretty cool. The guy's in there are super cool. He's like, you better say something good about us in the video. Yeah. And we saved because I paid in cash. We didn't pay tax. There you Out go. The door out the door 20 bucks good deal whoa we stopped off for lunch and it was delicious so delicious i forgot to show you i got pulled pork nachos ashley got a pulled pork sandwich kind of i just ate the pulled pork it's yeah cheaper. pulled pork off the uh, sandwich is cheaper than getting a pulled pork platter and save about a beat <laughs> also got two sides baked beans and sweet potatoes and speaking of two sides oh. everybody's favorite my mom and my dad hey we had uh green beans we had the collard greens we had the fries and burnt ends oh the burnt ends look good uh, cornbread, cornbread. Yep. yeah it's great you uh, getting uh, ready for a little match? I am. It's, the weather's breaking. I can probably survive outside now. And uh, if we get 5,000 likes, Whoa. I'll, I'll Look be at out him. on the course. Oh, Sign. Well. So hit like and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> he's oh, man. He's taking your job and my job. He's got. He's better at the segues than I am. Ask him for likes already. We've got to sign him up for a channel. All right. There we go. All right. Well, he's still in the show. We'll meet yep. at the next spot. You don't need us anymore. <laughs> That was funny. <laughs> You're a natural. Right? <laughs>
All right, folks, had fun eating lunch with my parents. We're going to stop off at Dick's Sporting Goods. We found some crazy stuff here in the past. We found Scotty Cameron's for like $150. Let's see if they've got anything good for us today. Well, the U section is loaded over here. This is the most left-handed clubs I've seen them have in a long time. Also got a bunch of iron sets over there and a bunch of uh, used drivers. Let's check out the wedges first. We found a bunch of uh, cool wedges in here in the past couple of tour issue ones. Oh, what's going on there? Yeah, mm, that chrome doesn't look... I think it got ground down and it oh, kind of yeah. messed up the uh, chrome. How much is that going for? For eighty dollars on that one, we got a Ping Glide three point going for hundred and ten. The newer Ping wedges, I haven't gotten along with, but like the yeah. old ones, like the Tours and like the I Series wedges, kind of like those ones a little bit better. We got a Cleveland Zip Core Z CBX ZBX <laughs> CBX uh, eighty five dollars on that. It's not a bad deal on that. Oh. Let's give some lefty love over here. How much are the Sim twos going for? I think these are all the uh, demo ones. 360 on that got a tailor-made m4 righty hiding in over here 240 dollars on that one got a, a spider x right here going for 235 they've had this one jaws wedge in here for like over a year and it's basically uh, priced like ten dollars under noon it's kind of messed up so i think they're gonna have that one in here for quite a while Got a, another uh, Cleveland RTX over here. This is the full face one. How much is that going for? A hundred bucks. Got a lefty ping G4. We've actually bought a, a lefty uh, ping G400 in here. I think it was like $89, yeah. 160 in here. What else we got? Tanner made UDI for 190. Got a couple of the uh, different uh, two ball tens. Got the triple track. And I think this one's a tour lined. $220 on that one. Probably about the same on the other one. Let's take a look at the woods and the irons. We got a set of Titleist AP2 716s. We got Ricky Fowler over there too. $475. All those ones have a ton of wear on it. Not the greatest deal on that one. Got some uh, Cobra Max. Oh, those are the combo ones too. Those ones are pretty cool. Oh, we got the, uh, these are actually the irons that I use right now. We had these listed on uh, eBay. They have them for 1300. We had them listed for like over a month at 600 bucks and like no one sent an offer or anything. I was like, what's going on? I checked the listing. It was perfectly fine. Then I like went and took the clubs out to see if people, why people wouldn't like them. I hit them so good. Yeah, I fell in love with them. I usually don't like Callaway irons, but those things are absolutely butter. I've got the uh, nipping shafts in there. Those ones are uh, super nice. Definitely the <laughs> most expensive clubs I've ever used in my life. We got a Cleveland Launcher HB for $165 and a terrible deal on that one. We got a TaylorMade M2 D-Type going for $180. That's not a yeah, bad deal on that. I want to see how much the m4d type is going 240 it's kind of weird we saw the m2s going for more than the m4s for a while and those ones uh, seem to have reversed oh check this out it's a nike mock speed black oh man this is one of my nike grails oh this uh, it literally has the Mitsubishi fabuki shaft in there too why is that the price Oh man, it's only $35. These don't go for like a terrible amount of money, but it's my favorite Nike driver of all time. <laughs> they usually go for like over a, like 100 to $110. This is uh, one of the best looking uh, Nike drivers that they yeah. ever made. That thing, oh man, that is so sick for $35. That's pretty awesome. That is amazing. Yeah, literally hiding in the corner. It was being stealthy. <laughs> stealthy next to all the stealths. It was this mock speed blending. Uh, There's no joke there. We both tried, we both failed. But that is amazing. We'll let you know if we find anything else, but I don't think we're going to beat that. No, not at all. All right, next stop, PGA Tour Superstore. The last time we were here, there was someone who just like threw golf clubs over there. It was a Nike Ignite putter. I don't think we're going to find anything as good as that because it was free. Yes. But uh, let's see what the PGA Tour Superstore has got for us today. Why do I keep doing that? Today. Well, no free Nike putters in here. Let's see if there's anything worth picking up. I think this is the Odyssey Black uh, 3, yeah, 330M. $80 on that. Not a terrible deal. Oh, check this out. We got a uh, Odyssey. I think this is the number two. Steve Stricker used this for a long time. So did KJ Choi. These are, have been coming uh, harder to uh, find. $30 on that. Definitely a good deal. Pick that one up. Kind of looks like the uh, Ping Zing. But it's got the white hot insert. It just came out with the OG. I still like the original uh, white yeah, hot. The original actually is the best. Yeah, it's my favorite of all the uh, Odyssey uh, inserts. Oh, we got a uh, Del Mar right here. Lefty Scotty Cameron going for 349 I think this is the uh, special, yeah, special select on that one. Not a terrible deal on that. I think we're definitely going to uh, pick up the Odyssey. Let's see if there's any other... Uh, deals over here in the pre-owns see what they got in terms of the drivers we got a pxg 0811 xf going for 249 on that one get a tailor made m3 of all of the uh, m series this one has held their uh, value the least amount 170 dollars on that one that one was kind of hard to hit i like the m4 a little bit uh, better what else we got over oh we got a head we just picked up the head bag i've never yeah. seen i know that they uh, came out with new clubs we saw them at the pga uh, merchandise show i've never seen them in person they didn't have the drivers out there they had a putter 
Remember you uh, hit it and it was like the one of the practice putting things. You almost like broke the wood off of it. Yeah, yeah you hit it like basically like 60 feet and it was a five foot putt. It's a good price on a oh, Ping yeah. G30 though. Ping G30 LS. Oh, it's only $79.99. That's a crazy deal. These still go for like over $100. Oh, yeah. it's oh this plastic. one's got a dent right here. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah the does. turbulators have been turbulated. <laughs> <laughs> turbulators on the top, but you get what I'm saying? Yes. Not really. No one ever understands what I'm saying. I understand half of it, which D is good. <laughs> you understand more than both. You get the TaylorMade original one, the mini yeah. driver, $200. It came out with the uh, 300 series, kind of close to that, kind of like mm -hmm. made it, uh, which one are you going to get? Oh, check this out. An Odyssey Diablo Tour. This is this is the 15 degree, but uh, Henrik Stenson used the 13 degree one forever. Oh, it's only $22. These are super, super hard to find. Why did he nickname it? Didn't the club have a nickname too? Uh, you oh, know I more about it than I do. But Henry, I remember, yeah. It does, it has a nickname? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he had the Graffoli blue shaft in that. Yeah. Those things are really, really hard to uh, find. Definitely going to uh, pick that mm -hmm. one up. And a couple of things that are kind of like mid 2000s uh, PGA Tour uh, nostalgia. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See if there's anything else interesting over here. Let's get a price check on the DWS. We used to find these all the time, $25, yeah. We used to find those all the time at thrift stores for like two bucks. Mm -hmm. What else we got over here on the uh, other side? Tour Edge Houdini's. Uh, oh, we got a uh, Titleist uh, 913. It's got the D, yeah, Diamana shaft. These things always came in the Diamana shafts. I had one that was in the Diamana red, and that thing was a abs, it's hit the ball so high. I don't know what it is with the kick point on the Diamana reds, but no matter what club it, huh. it is, it goes really so sure. high. Got a bunch of lefty stuff. Actually, just one lefty. Oh, it's yeah. the lefty ladies. Oh, there's more lefty over there, but this yeah, is the lefty this ladies. Is the most ladies section, in yeah, most used ladies the clubs I've seen in a long time mm -hmm. here. What else we got over here? Got old school Vokey going for $59.99. Whoa, check this out. I've never seen one of these in person. A Ping I2 Gorge Lob Wedge. These things still go for, oh, it's only $50. These things still go for like 120 bucks. Yeah. Chris DeMarco used to like literally go into the play against sports down the road and buy all of these. He'd buy like every Ping Wedge in there and he was a Ping staff player and he had a hard time finding these. These things are super hard to find. This and uh, I think it's the uh, XF, the Gorge and the XF super super hard to find well they're like grandfathered in tournament yeah well right? these ones were these ones had the uh, conforming grooves mm. but uh this was like the first time they came out with the i2 uh grind in a really long time oh nice these things that is <laughs> That's really man we cool. got it's like so many like weird hard to find yeah. clubs this is the hardest to find out of all of them for sure but mm -hmm. Wow, that is insane. Well, check these out. We're the first people to test out the new Walt Disney World golf carts. The golf course is closed, but they let us take a uh, golf cart over to the driver range and try everything out. The old golf carts weren't even that bad, but these ones are super fast and definitely snazzy looking, almost as snazzy looking as the golf clubs that we got and the bag and the head cover. Oh. Those priceless. are some, yeah, priceless uh, finds. One of a kind finds, if you uh, ask me. We just got done trying everything out at the dry range. We'll throw up some shot tracers and some eBay comps, but definitely some good finds. We literally got some uh, golf clubs that PGA Tour players used to hoard yes. and used for like almost a decade. Yeah. So definitely uh, super cool. Let's go through everything that we got in the order that we got it. We started off with a banger in this head bag. This thing is absolutely stunning. I literally looked it up on eBay. Didn't see a single one even closely remotely to it. It's one of a kind. One of a kind. And just, for $9.99. Yeah, for $9.99. And then after Ashley had to top me there. That is one of the coolest head covers that I've ever yeah, seen. Bridge Farm goldfish head cover. And it was in like the kids' clothing section. I yeah. saw all the corner of my eye. I thought it was a stuffed animal. I was like, please. I heard Ashley cover. squeal and then she like threw something behind her back and I saw the color. So I thought it was like a Simba or something yeah. like that. And then boom, she pulls out a uh, Pepperidge Farms little uh, goldfish yeah. action right there. And we're from uh, uh, Indiana and people put goldfish on their salads there. So it's we're kind of like, we're not surprisingly good instead of croutons. Yeah, yeah, we're not like Boston loyal to it, but Indiana has its own special, special relationship meeting, with, the, yeah. uh, with the goldfish. But let's check out the clubs that we ended up getting. Not too shabby. We got some uh, tailor-made burner rescues right here. I hit this one super high. That's yeah. probably the highest hybrid that I've ever hit. And then you absolutely mashed I've that thing. I've been working on my swing, so I think that helped. But I hit that one really You hit well. that literally further than the uh, driver. Yeah, that was crazy. That was an amazing shot. We also picked, I think I called this thing Odyssey. Uh, it's definitely a Callaway. I think we <laughs> found the Odyssey right before yeah, it. So I, uh, a little uh, yeah, brain fart right there. But the uh, Callaway Diablo Tour. Uh, Henrik Stenson used this for a long time. And I could see why that thing is an absolute rocket launcher. Mm -hmm. If you find the 13 degree, it'll go for a little bit more money and 
potentially go a little bit further. So that's why he used it as a driver replacement, yeah. famous for that. Like basically didn't even hit a driver during his uh, British Open whatever win. Whatever works. Yeah, whatever works. He was playing from the fairway, yeah, which is a <laughs> yeah, definitely uh, working for him that day. And we also got this Nike Mock Speed black driver. This thing is absolutely stunning. Of all of the uh, sumo drivers, this is the best looking of them and the best sounding. And you could literally swing as hard as you possibly can at this thing, and it will just go dead straight. It's yeah. one of my favorite uh, drivers. It doesn't sound like well it sounds uh, better than the, yeah. the square ones which i've gotten used to yeah. i like the yellow ones i've gotten used to it but it's the one... prettiest of the ugliest uh, clubs to uh, say the I least give you that. yeah and then we also got a, a classic right here at odyssey white hot number two world's greatest putter drained mm -hmm. it i also really like it this is just a karma grip but i really like yeah, it. yeah karma grips are known for being uh, very cheap mm -hmm. and i don't really like some of them but this one's really cool yeah. it's uh which one is this one called the big softy yeah but uh, that's kind of uh, similar to the Golf Pride Tour sensor grips, I would uh, say. Mm -hmm. And then right here, an absolute classic. I freaked out as almost as much over this as we did for the uh, Pepper's Farms uh, <laughs> head cover, but Ping I2 Gorge Wedge. Like I was saying, PJ Tour players used to hoard this one and the XG. I think I called it the XF. I, I made a bunch of uh, braid farts You're there. so excited. Yeah, well, we just found the uh, PXG XF uh, yeah, driver. But the uh, Ping I2 Gorge Wedge, these things are absolutely amazing. Super versatile. Whoop. You got a bunch of maintenance people going by. They're trying to get the golf course open for us. But the uh, Ping I2 Gorge Wedge, super versatile sole design, an absolute classic. And the faces are milled on these, unlike the uh, old ones. We actually have the uh, Ping I2 uh, Beryllium Copper Lab Wedge. Yeah. I think I like that one a little bit more, but this one is still super cool. Ooh, and it came with the uh, Dynamic Gold Spinner Shaft, which uh, this thing spun like crazy. I only hit two shots with it because the uh, practice green was like super, super uh, busy. But uh, the first one I thought was going in, but I hit it a little bit too yeah. hard. It didn't take the break. Second one. Drano. Perfect. Yeah, it might be my uh, new edge, but hopefully you guys did like this video. If you did, hit like button, subscribe, and we'll see you next time. See you next time, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Oh, I didn't even notice this when we were driving in. They got a new sign for the golf courses over here. Speaking of uh, Disney, though, we just filmed another video for our other channel. Should be coming out like either today or tomorrow whenever you're uh, watching this. We found some crazy stuff at uh, Goodwill, so definitely uh, check that out. We'll leave a link in the description. But thank you guys for watching. Today.